Mofra 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 Very good For those of you who do not know how to respond When I say Mofra Mofra You respond Yes, Santi So Mofra Mofra Well done This is Auntie AC here with you today to present a very interesting moral story. So let's hear what the story is about. We are talking about a camel and his friends. And the title of our story today is Had I Known. Once there lived a very rich man who had and kept a lot of domestic animals in his home. The animals included a donkey, a camel, a cat, a dog, a pig, name them all. All the animals in this rich man's house were very good friends and lived and played together every time. And there was a camel, too, among them. Every time the camel finished eating, he would be lying, kicking his legs about left, right, in so much excitement, without paying attention to his environment. And any time he did that, wise cats would go to him and say my friend camel you would have to be very careful or else one day you will put yourself and everybody else into trouble the camel did not like that piece of advice from cat and so he looked at cat and said cat you are too serious and too cautious in life. Let me continue to have my fun. And so he laughed at Kat, mocked him, and Kat said, Hmm. Camel went to his friends, the horse, the chicken, the pig, the sheep, and reported the incident to them. And what did they do? They all laughed at Cat, mocked him, and called him a thief. So Cat kept quiet and said, hmm. One day, the son of this very rich man came home after he had finished his education. When he returned, he was so excited to hear about Camel in the house, and so he decided to go and have a look at Camel. On his way, Camel, as usual, had finished eating, so full and satisfied, and was lying down, kicking his legs about, left, right, center, all in excitement. He didn't realize that the son of the rich man was close by and then kicked him in the stomach and the boy got hurt. Everybody came running, helter skelter, help the boy, help the boy, help the boy. It was an emergency and they had to carry him to the hospital. But how would they do that? They needed to call the horse to carry him to the hospital. The horse had to run so fast and took the boy to the hospital. When he returned, he was all bruised from the journey. So Kat went to him and said, my friend horse, what happened to you that your skin looks all bruised? Horse said, Kat, I wish I had listened to your advice. Had I known, I would have listened to you. Kat said, hmm, and left. Then they kept 
waiting for good news for the son of the rich man to return safely from the hospital. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. The doctors tried as hard as they could, but the boy could not be saved. So, he died. Yes, he died, sadly. So the rich man said, well, my son is dead and gone, but I have to perform the necessary funeral rites and the ceremony. And the people who are coming to support me, who are coming to wish me well, they need to eat well when they come. So I'm going to slaughter some of the animals in the house for the party. First was the cow, the goats followed, the pig followed, the chicken followed, and on and on and on they carried them to the slaughterhouse. The cat stood by watching these animals being sent to the slaughterhouse. And he asked them, my friends, why are they carrying you? And where are they taking you to? All these animals looked at Cat and said, Cat, had we known, we would have listened to you. Cat said, hmm. Now they had slaughtered all these animals for the funeral and it was left eventually with the camel alone. After some time, the camel became useless in the home and he became lonely. And the rich man said, well, now you have no use in this home. You have to leave this home. So the camel left home to fend for himself, to take care of himself. And he regretted and remembered and said, oh, had I known, I would have listened to cats. So dear children, this is the story of the camel and his friends in the house of the very rich man. Had they known, they would have listened. Children, this is a beautiful story, don't you think? What is the lesson? What is the moral behind the story? There are three of them that I want you to think about discuss with your friends, talk about it at home, and try to practice them at home. What are they? Lesson number one. It is important to listen to good advice from friends, parents, other family members, and everybody who speaks good to you. If all the animals had listened to cats, they would all have been spared. They wouldn't have been slaughtered. They would have lived peacefully and happily as they used to in the house of the rich man. Lesson number two. Think before you act and act properly. The other animals did not think carefully before joining Camel in making that decision to mock cats. And Camel himself never acted properly after every meal. He could have used his time wisely. He could have done something better after eating rather than kicking his legs about. And that is our lesson number three. Children, when you are home, when you have leisure time, when you have nothing to do, do something wise. Be wise in your leisure time. Use the time more fruitfully and do not misbehave like the camel did. What do you do at your leisure time? Can you write it down and then share with me on our page or by text or by the contact that we will share with you? Thank you children for listening to me and see you very soon. God bless you. Stay safe.